Live from Chris Chan's room, the good old-fashioned cringe show with your host, Antonio the Sheep. Well, everyone, we're on episode four of the good old-fashioned cringe series. Now, this will be the only part of the episode to be scripted. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's the classic galaxy? Where's your usual sprites, Antonio? What the fuck is this? Well, I figured this would be an episode I'd go all out on the cringe factor with. So we're doing the show in Rucklersville, Virginia, in the famed bedroom of Chris Chan, with this neckbeard sprite. So, gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen, and ladies, grab your Mountain Dew, Doritos, sweaty anime body pillows, and strap in for some cringe that reeks worse than this bedroom I'm currently in. Via sola stabilità sed constantia forte tudo per sacrificio I guess via monocoro <laughs> You heard it from the sheep himself, folks. Even an incel core motherfucker sheep like I am, I don't approve of this in the slightest. And to be honest, nobody with a functioning fucking moral compass should agree with this shit. I don't know what it will take to get these fucking zoophiles, these disgusting perverts that want to do horrible things to animals, to understand that these animals can't consent, they're reading too far fucking into an animal's show of love. That animal just loves you for who you are, and you use that love in a horrible, despicable manner. I cannot stand people like this. People like these on Twitter make me sick. And to be honest, if lynching these people was legal, it would be a net positive for society because it would give these people a reason to fucking seek help or at least keep this degenerate shit off the internet. God, people like you and your kind make me sick. Oh no, not these motherfuckers. No. I believe I touched on these motherfuckers in my Hypnotist Sappho video, but if any of you thankfully don't know who Zooier Than Thou are, they are a fucking degenerate zoophile podcast, billing themselves as by zoophiles for zoophiles. They give you tips on how to rape animals in secret. And honestly, What's cringe about this, this is less cringe than it is fucking maddening. I cannot stand people like this. People like, like Sappho and her kind make me sick, and these people absolutely align themselves with Sappho. They're the same breed of sick fuck that she is. Also, to uh, fucking calm myself down from that rant, that art style is fucking cancer. Let's not even deny it. Oh, and here we have a fucking edgy child making a joke out of murdering gay furries because haha, furries cringe. Let's be here. I honestly don't know why it became 
like a trend for edgy kids to be like uh, so-called ironically homophobic and anti-furry. I suppose that's just the era of Andrew Tate TikTok shorts we live in, but goddamn, when I wanted to be edgy, I would just quote Filthy Frank. I didn't fucking go out of my way to make edits joking about killing furries with military tanks. You know, it's funny how I have to censor thumbnails like this for them to appear in my videos, but this shit can thrive on YouTube kids, no problem. And to be honest, I am so fucking sick of the bastardization of Skibbity Toilet. The meme itself was already dumb as hell, but seriously, they will sexualize fucking anything these days. Meanwhile, I have to censor them yiddies even though they're fucking covered up. Just because I'm not fucking taking my chances with YouTube. Jesus Christ. Really, YouTube? Is this how sensitive you've gotten? You're literally posting suicide warnings on fucking dream Minecraft deaths. Jesus Christ. Goddamn. People can post videos of themselves eating raw chicken completely with no guidelines, but you're fucking coming after Dream? Like, goddamn, he's gone through enough. Motherfucker already went mask on. Although, to be honest, I think that was just a PR stunt, but... You're over- you're flagging his videos for- Promoting self-harm in Minecraft! What the hell? Like, I- This is the type of warning I'd expect to see before a Filthy Frank video. Not a fucking dream. So, some context for this video. Um, actually, it's not a video. Fuck, I'm actually fucking stupid. Although, I think everybody knew that. One Piece fans were acting like... This specific arc broke the fucking internet, but they failed to realize their phone was on fucking airplane mode, and we have fucking eyes. Like, I know One Piece fans are some of the biggest dick riders of the anime world, but... Jesus Christ, you're acting like this, an this highly overrated anime is... Breaking the entire fucking internet. Like, I, I know it must be good to have, like, a thousand fucking episodes, but this isn't gonna get me on the One Piece bandwagon. You're gonna have to try harder than that. Ah, uh, yes. Fuckboys ranking the attractiveness of women based on race. We love to see it. And honestly, I swear this guy is who you'd see. If you look up the stock image of a fuckboy, this dude is literally just saying, white's mid, black, fucking revolting. I kind of want to say based to that as a joke, but no, I'm not trying to get cancelled. And honestly, like, why is someone who looks like a stock image of a fuckboy Judging people's attractiveness, that's my question. It's fucking cringe, like, it's either blatant anti-white racism with these posts, or blatant anti-black racism. There is no fucking in-between with these posts. And I say this because last cringe compilation, we saw a diagram promoting keeping black bloodlines. Sure. Like, what the fuck? What is with all the racism on these cringe subreddits? Jesus Christ! It, is that goofy? Uh, no, 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 I am not saying anything further on this. God damn it. Why? The internet fucking ruins everything. The internet was a net fucking negative for everything. I did not 
want to do this cringe compilation seeing male pregnancy of fucking Goofy. God damn, nothing is allowed to be pure on the internet. You know, I bring up the point I made earlier on in this video. Thumbnails like this are allowed to exist on YouTube, but for me to show them in my video, I have to censor them. Like, I know that's not a full ass shown in the thumbnail, but I still censored it because I didn't want to get in trouble with YouTube. This seems to be a running theme in this cringe video. Just a sheer amount of softcore pornography. Like, what the fuck? It's well drawn, but why? Why are people wasting their talent like this? The anti-masturbation cross. Safely train your children to keep their hands off their dangerous sin zones. Papoose cross and arm immobilizer work together to safely secure a self <laughs> adjustable canvas straps with velcro, adjustable head strap incorporated with backboard, optional arm immobilizing accessory slides under board for. <laughs> <laughs> for first sport eagle positions <laughs> stop masturbation now dot org oh my god okay i i know this is satire but i had to put something in here to lighten up my mood because god damn <laughs> the sheer absurdity of something like this this looks like something a catholic priest would Put a kid in. Nice gray panties. Okay, no comment. Moving the fuck on. Shy sugar, beautiful breasts. Chenji liked them shucked on. You do know this isn't anonymous, right? And I see you at work. Holy f Oh my god! Imagine saying that shit to a co worker on a QA. Jesus! Goddamn, the internet has just made people 200% hornier. That or it's just allowed the horny people to see the fucking light of day and ask the most perverse, degenerate questions in the world. Got to do a piece off my flash wall. Here's some rope bunny ink. You did not. You did not just tattoo that on your body. Goddamn. What is with all the degenerate furries showing off their perversion to the general public? You realize shit like this is why people hate the fandom. You're not giving us a great reputation by doing shit like this. You know, putting what is basically BDSM furry porn on your fucking arm, which is not a fucking sentence I expected to ever be saying. Every time my friends get my pronouns wrong, they pay me a pound. Okay, you know what? Whatever it takes to get people to respect your identity, but this is not the way to fucking go about it. You're gonna lose so many friends like this. Why? Who told you this would be a good idea? Why is this even making the news? Is it just that shitty in Britain nowadays? Is this what the British populace has come to? No wonder why we all clown on your asses. Y'all are fucking weird over there. Someone sent this tweet to my stepmom and she's given me a few days to pack my stuff and leave, even though I rarely hurt my sister. I'm literally homeless now. I hope you guys are fucking happy. Normally, I wouldn't be this fucking happy, but honestly, take a look at what this thing did. Me to my three-year-old sister when she deadnamed me. Age is not an excuse for bigotry repeated a bunch of times. You're calling a three-year-old child a bigot? For what fucking reason did you ever think, hey, maybe she was taught this? Or hey, maybe she doesn't know any better because she's three! God damn, I cannot stand when people push any narratives 
on little kids because it fucks with their mind so much. It fucks with their mind. And this goes for both liberals, conservatives, anyone in between. Don't push any narratives on children that they are way too young to fucking understand. The Madagascar films are the pinnacle of animated comedy. Somewhere in the western cartoon for small children, pinnacle of animated comedy, looks like someone hasn't watched Jinshama. How are you getting 5,093 views and 4 likes, my guy? God damn, this dude got ratioed! Damn, that ratio is a killer! But seriously, don't do this. I love anime too, but it's not an excuse to fucking diss on something somebody likes just because you think, Oh, I'm superior and cultured because I like anime. Don't do that shit, seriously. I shouldn't even have to say that. Somehow, I have a feeling I know what the driver of this car looks like. Blue-haired person, makeup makes him look like a fucking emo scene kid from the 2000s. Reeks like hell because they don't believe in showering because of the patriarchy. And you can't even tell me I'm wrong. Wrong. You know this is the exact type of person driving this car. And this isn't even a diss. Like, be vocal about yourself and politics. But don't make that your entire personality. Because honestly, you're not a revolutionary. Shit like this is loved by major corporations. When big ass corporations are parroting the same viewpoints you are, you're not a fucking revolutionary. If you're gonna act like a radical activist, be sincere about it. Be an actual revolutionary. Can't do the floss at the Fortnite Holocaust Museum. Its designer says it could be a game changer for Holocaust awareness. Okay, Jesus Christ, I did not know they were putting the goddamn Holocaust Memorial in Fortnite. But then again, I haven't played Fortnite since I was 17. I haven't played Fortnite in so long. But, it's honestly a shame that this has to be disabled, because you know some stupid kid would just have their avatar Fortnite dancing in front of the Holocaust Memorial. Like, kids like this are why I gave up playing Fortnite. Just because the game's not fun anymore. I play Cult of the Lamb these days. Holy shit, it's been a while since I've seen an image in one of these videos that makes me want to kill myself. But this is one of the most grotesque things I have ever seen on my cringe series. You see what the sheep is blocking? I had to censor all that shit. But let me just explain what exactly the fuck you're looking at. You're looking at some deformed human beings, a girl with a dick for a body, and honestly, I don't even know what the other thing I censored it is, but I know it's an asshole and a pussy. Basically, this comic is about these deformed beings smoking joints. Who is laughing at this? Who is getting off to this shit? What the fuck? Fuck, I, okay, I, I need to drink some bleach after this video. I need to drink some bleach. I cannot live with the fact that I saw this. But you know what? Thank God for that, for that emoji of Antonio's head being shocked. Because... God damn, it has been a lifesaver for this video. Just because I saw it, that head is there so you don't have to. See it, that is. Dankest scum.
femboy bi? Okay, not that bad. Mine are 14 years old, okay? I guess it's not that bad. There's nothing inherently sexual about being a femboy and bi at 14. Bottom- Oh, no, no, no. Hotline Miami and Death Kick fan, no not safe for work. Well, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but you shouldn't have put the bottom in there, because holy shit, you're gonna get so much porn, kid. You know, there's a meme about people like you. I, I just gotta find it. Um. Oh yeah, this classic. Why are kids calling themselves submissive and breedable? Like, go do your homework. It needs to be submitted and readable. And this shit is coming from someone who's a femboy himself. Like, the artist who drew my neckbeard sprite also drew me a regular sprite. This cutie. Yeah. Like, I have nothing against femboys. Hell, I am one. I'm also bi, much like this femboy states he is. But you also didn't see me calling myself a bottom on Twitter at 14. Like, I wasn't thinking about fucking anyone on Twitter when I was 14. Like, I was just on Omega wanting to talk to people. God damn. Man, it's shit like this that really makes me question why I still consider myself a Danganronpa fan, because this is a fucking Nagito cosplayer who had a fucking Monokuma on them. I hated that I fucking recognized the characters from Danganronpa that this fucking weirdo had on them. God damn. Mmm, ice cream so good. Mmm, ice cream so good. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Gang, gang. Take your eye in. Ooh, ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Gang, gang. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. If you're wondering what the fuck you just saw, this last clip was part of the NPC streamer trend that is currently going around TikTok Live where attractive women act like NPCs on TikTok to get donations out of basement-dwelling men who get no pussy or any sex for that matter. Like, to be honest, I think the only sex that the viewers of these live streams get is with their fucking anime body pillows, and that's pretty much the appeal of the simps to this trend. Like, oh, Cute girl is acting by my whims, like, it's a sort of domination thing. And to me, it's peak fatherless behavior. Like, I hate to throw around this term, but there's no other way to describe the way these women are acting other than fatherless clearly did not get enough male attention in their life. Like, holy fucking shit. I legitimately think you might as well just cut your dick off if you're a dude that is totally addicted to these streams. Like, these streams are ruining America's youth. It is literal softcore porn on TikTok Live on demand. And it can create debilitating addictions. Like, I was exaggerating when I said men that are addicted to this shit should just cut their dicks off. But, I'm not exaggerating when I say this could become a serious addiction to a lot of people, like, I fucking thought the titty streamers on Twitch were bad. But this, there is no substance to this. Well, ladies, gentlemen, and fellow non-binary daisies, we have reached the end of yet another video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and join my Discord server. Also, artists, if you like what you see, feel free to send me fan art. I always appreciate it. 
I love to see interpretations of Antonio like the ones you see here. And if you've done all those things, y'all have a great day. Antonio out. Peace.